On Friday, a school teacher was beheaded in France for showing caricatures of Prophet Muhammad during a lecture on freedom of expression. The incident sent shock waves across the world. The French President Emmanuel Macron denounced what he called an Islamist terrorist attack. He urged the people to stand united against extremism. Two days later, reports suggest that France is preparing to expel around 231 foreigners on government watch lists for suspected extremist religious beliefs. Among the suspects, 180 people are currently in prison and 51 are due to be arrested. France's Interior Minister Gerald Darmen has reportedly asked his ministry to examine the people wishing to obtain the status of refugee more closely. Remember, the 18-year-old who beheaded the history teacher was living in the country on refugee status. President Emmanuel Macron's centrist government has been under pressure from conservative and far-right parties to take a tougher stance on non-nationals deemed to be posing a security threat. After the incident, Macron mentioned France was engaged in an existential battle against radical Islamist terrorism. The French president's statement came just weeks after his controversial unveiling of a plan to defend the country's secular values against what he termed as Islamist radicalism. While Macron is not the first French president to suggest this, the plan comes at a crucial juncture for the country. Macron took office in 2017 after two years of terror attacks in the nation Seeking re-election in 2022, the French leader has now made the issue of fighting violent extremism his primary objective. Macron's proposals include stricter oversight of schooling, including close monitoring of sports organizations and restricted homeschooling, all in a way to ensure that these do not end up becoming fronts for Islamist teachings. Macron's government will also be clamping down on foreign funding of mosques, including the, manage, the banning of foreign imams from preaching within France. Over the past five years, in attacks by Islamist militants or by lone wolf jihadists, more than 250 people have been killed on French soil. Many argue that the attackers have been radicalized online or outside of religious settings. Joining us live on the broadcast this minute is a journalist Stéphane Debrez from Paris. Thanks very much for speaking with us. Uh, France is preparing to expel around 231 foreigners on the government watch list for suspected extremist religious beliefs. How do you respond to that plan? Well, it's of course a reaction to the beheading last week of the teacher in a school north of Paris um, that shocked the whole nation and also uh, many other people around the world, uh, of course. Um, now, uh, there was already a law being discussed in Parliament uh, the last two or three months um, about uh, the law against separatism, as it uh, is called, um, and it is mainly aimed at Salafist or Islamist uh, groups wanting to undermine the authority of the state. Uh, France is one of the few countries in Europe that has a very strict separation between church and state. Um, so anything religious is being considered uh, suspicious. Uh, but this is a law that dates from the time that the Catholic Church was basically the dominant religion in France over a century ago. Um, now, France is a very mixed country. About 8% uh, of the population um, has a Muslim background or is a Muslim, um, uh, something that did not exist when this law was made now. All these new measures uh, over the last couple of years, uh, we've seen, for instance, in 2004, uh, that religious signs were forbidden uh, at schools, but that was mostly uh, veils um, of Muslim people. Um, it, it, it is a long debate in France on the place of Mus uh, the Muslim Islam, actually, in the French society. Many presidents before Macron already tried to uh, form sort of uh, a French Islam um, uh, groups that would accept the values uh, of the republic um, but this proves very difficult also because france is a very um a, a, a country with many social problems social and economical problems uh, and many areas where uh, people lag behind uh, they simply cannot uh, cope uh, with the living standards in france
Right. The interior minister is saying that a fatwa or a religious decree was issued against that Slain teacher and that the father of a school girl and a known Islamist militant had urged his killing. What more do we know on that front? Well, this is an accusation of the Minister of the Interior because uh, there was indeed uproar uh, by some parents in the school based on false information. What actually happened is that the teacher uh, was showing in his class um, some uh, cartoons that were published by Charlie Hebdo, the same one, uh, same ones that, that um, led to the murder of the uh, many people working for Charlie Hebdo five years ago. Now, what the teacher did was he um, informed his pupils that he was going to show this uh, drawing the next day so that anyone who would feel uh, offended um, could leave the classroom so they didn't have to see the caricature. He did this in a very, according to several sources, very diplomatic way, very kind way. There was no, um, there was no um, intent to offend or to uh, uh, do something wrong. Um, and, and this was translated by some of the parents as he's sending Muslim children away from the classroom. Now, this took its own proportion and some parents called for actions against this uh, teacher. Now, um, there have no been, there are no accusations yet of people ask, as literally asking for the murder of this teacher. But now the interior minister is translating this call for action against the teacher as uh, a fatwa. So these are his words. Um, uh, of course, uh, they uh, are not, not proven yet, but it is one of the accusations by the interior minister. Indeed. A lot of question marks also regarding the viability of the president's plan to fight Islamist radicalism, uh, especially uh, with this latest attack. Uh, France's recent experiences with terrorism uh, challenging Macron's assumption that the attacks have been under foreign influence, uh, with most of these being lone wolf attacks. Yes, indeed. It's also very difficult to prove. Uh, of course, police is now investigating uh, whether this uh, suspect who was killed last Friday had links to any groups or did he act on his own? These are very important questions to see if there's a new network uh, that got unnoticed by the security service. However, um, this person, the suspect who was killed on a Friday, an 18-year-old man from Chechnya, um, was already under the radar. Some people have complained since the summer that this person was radicalizing. So this also poses questions about the um, the, whether the, the intelligence services are um, effective enough if they are doing their work. Um, also, the teacher went to the police two weeks ago saying that he was uh, threatened and nothing had been done with his uh, remarks. So um, there have been made mistakes by the authorities. Um, and uh, indeed, this could be a lone wolf. Um, it is not sure, uh, but it seems like it. And the last couple of uh, uh, terrorist attacks all were the case of people who had no links to any terrorist organization, but people who just, um, well, um, acted on, on their own um, after incidents. However, in this very case, um, many people say uh, this is the fault of social media. The story got out of hand uh, on social media. Um, parents became very angry. Instead of seeing the school, uh, they uh, issued all kinds of uh, threats. No, not that threats, but very serious uh, allegations. Um, so also has to do something uh, with the social media. Um, of course, very complicated because when you're trying to attack these kinds of expressions, you, you are touching on the freedom of opinion. Um, so it's a very complicated issue and the reaction of the French government is one of, um, well, hard words, harsh words, and probably also harsh act reactions, actions against um, a part of the Muslim community. Indeed. Also, give us a better sense of what's happening on the ground. Uh, we saw thousands uh, rallying in support of the teacher yesterday, paying tributes. Uh, what exactly uh, have been the broad uh, spectrum of reactions coming in uh, from uh, those on the ground? Well, of course, the attack has widely been condemned by almost everybody in France and also in Europe. And there have been uh, protests uh, or marches yesterday to support and to remember the teacher uh, thousands of people took to the street. A um, little bit reminding the thousands of people who took to the streets after the Charlie Hebdo attacks in January 2015. Um, so there's general um, uh, outrage against uh, this uh, action because uh, the teacher was finally not just doing 
his work. He was a history teacher and he taught about the freedom of expression. And therefore, he had to show, in his opinion, he had to show these cartoons. Um, so he was more or less punished for doing his work. Um, now, there is uh, different opinions on how the government now reacts. Some people think it's too violent. Uh, Macron, President Macron is using words like, we are at war, uh, the SMS will not sleep in this country anymore, we have to fight back. So this is very um, belligerent um, semantics. At the same time, there are people on the right, the extreme right, say that this is not, these, these reactions are too soft, that only um, a force will uh, well make a difference. So. Um, yeah, it's it's a very complicated political situation um, that has gotten out of hand, of course, but it is unfortunately nothing new in French society. The deb debate about the place of Islam in French society is very vivid and or, or often very uh, violent or aggressive as well. Stefan Debris, thanks very much.